Hi there, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to overload the array operator. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so, let us assume that we have a class named Foo, and let us assume that this class is going to contain an array of five integers. Okay, and let us assume that we want to be able to have the ability to use the array operator with a foo object. Let's assume that I want to be able to do something like this, right? I create a foo object and then I want to be able to access all of the items in the foo objects array. Okay, so that would mean that I would want to be able to have a statement that looks like this, right? I want to be able to um, apply the array operator to my foo object. Then I'm going to need to overload this operator right here. Right? We're going to have that operator keyword immediately following that, the operator that we want to overload. The parameter for this is going to be a single integer. Right? that parameter is going to accept the index, okay? And so then we can use that within the method definition to specify which element of the array we want to access. Okay, so what's the return type gonna be for this thing? It's gonna be a integer reference, okay? And the reason for that is because we're gonna be returning integers, right? So uh, just like pass by reference, when it's a reference parameter, we can return by reference and have a similar kind of behavior. It's key to making this thing work. Okay, so let's go ahead and have ourselves a definition. Okay. All right. And I'll call the parameter um, J. Okay, can name it whatever I want. And so then what we'll do is, is we'll just return A of J. Okay. And so since this is returned by reference then back in main here the value inside of i right here is going to be assigned to the ith value in our array of integers up here okay so let's go ahead now and retrieve those values and display them to the screen okay Go ahead and compile this and run it. Okay, so zero, one, two, three, four, where did that come from? Well, for loop right here, I assigned values to my A array in here, and then this for loop right here, I retrieved those values back from my A array right here. Okay, that's everything I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.